Christina Aguilera made history in the music and film industry while simultaneously being a judge on the well known talent show The Voice. But what do other celebrities think of her? In today's video on Beyond the Screen, we are taking a look at celebrities who try to warn us about Christina Aguilera. I'm your host for this one, Joss Bedard. Make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoy this. Personally, I am a fan of Christina Aguilera. Her voice is. But I'm also uh, interested in seeing the drama between her and some other celebrities. Starting us off at the number 10 mark is Lady Gaga. During the peak of Gaga's career, she was known for her eccentric performances and the over the top fashion. And she still is. Around the same time in 2008, Christina would decide to return to the music scene. Her return was met with a lot of comparison towards Lady Gaga as she showed similar fashion choices with her during that time. They were both just considered to be very over the top. Though even with the direct comparison between the two, Christina would deny any allegations and would go as far as to act as if she's never even heard of Gaga, apparently. She like made it sound in an interview, she's like, oh, I just found out who that was. The media at the time blew up the story between the two pop stars. But this feud would end quickly, so don't worry, as both of them just had no interest in fueling it. Things got to the point that Christina and Lady Gaga would make their own statements about it and how they just couldn't care less about fighting over who said what and who did what first. As of now, both of them praise each other for being very strong women in the industry, which we love to see. Swiping through to the next spot at number nine, we have Pink. The two initially clashed during the recording process when they covered the song Lady Marmalade together back in 2001. They apparently didn't work well together from the start, with Pink confessing that there was some tension between the two of them when they were recording. Christina's label agency was very rude to Pink apparently and demanded that Christina sing all the high notes and the good parts of the song, leaving Pink with the unwanted seconds. Pink would later confess that their feud apparently even got physical at one point, with the pop star claiming that Christina swung at her in a club, which Pink just found comical. But Christina was quick to dispute these claims, so we don't really know the truth, but like, I believe Pink. The beef seemingly ends there though, with the two pop stars publicly making amends in 2017, and they said they were putting their differences aside. As if, I would never go up to Pink and throw hands. <laughs> She would kill me. Next up at number eight is Christina's former co-star, Adam Levine. The two of them both starred as judges on the talent show, The Voice, at the same time, but their rivalry goes beyond the show. The two pop stars would be hostile towards each other from the beginning, and according to Christina, Adam would argue and mistreat her with the hope of getting underneath her skin. Apparently all of this was behind the scenes while filming the show. This hatred towards Christina would fuel her to be even worse, and she became very difficult to work with by being late, never apologizing, and holding up the filming. To make it even worse for everyone, her and Adam would constantly fight behind the scenes, and both of them would get very heated. Now, moving towards the future, and them both being retired from the show, they seem to have made up. Though with the things the two of them claimed happened behind the scenes, this is hard to believe, but one can hope that they just have moved forward by now. Swiftly moving up the charts, the number seven spot is held by Miley Cyrus. The disagreement between Cyrus and Christina started in 2014 and went to the length of Miley refusing to perform on The Voice after Christina's tweet about her. Christina tweeted about Miley's outfit during one of her concerts, stating, Cheers from one dirty girl to the next. At Miley Cyrus, wear those chaps loud and proud, girl. Yes. Now, this seems like a positive and supportive comment, but Miley didn't take it that way. She believed that it was a fake compliment and that her tweet was shading the artist and that Miley was intentionally mimicking Aguilera's dirty era fashion style. You know, it's a costume that girls wear now. Therefore, Miley thought Christina tweeted her to make sure everyone knew that Christina did it first. Later on in 2016, the two would work together as coaches on The Voice and apparently got along just fine, but the friendliness between the two of them was very short lived when Miley would go on to replace Christina on the show. Apparently, Christina became very petty at this point and has made some snarky remarks about Miley ever since. Continuing on the countdown, taking the number six spot is the pop band The Wanted. Consisting of four members, The Wanted as a group has criticized Christina after they performed on the NBC competition show The Voice. I've said it a lot, y'all should watch the show. Christina was a former judge on the show, like I mentioned, and had a short but underwhelming interaction with the band members. Speaking up about Aguilera, the members of the band called her a 
complete diva and she allegedly gave the band the cold shoulder after their performance. According to the band, Christina just wasn't nice at all and was a bit scary. They recollected their interaction with her as being quite rude and called her a total beep B word. After the bad media formed about their comments on Christina, the band regretted talking so negatively about the former judge, though they made it clear that their opinion wasn't any different and wished that she had just showed them some simple manners. Maybe say hi, good performance, you did great. Taking the halfway spot on this list, number five is Britney Spears. Things at first between the two musicians seem to be going good up until the relationship turns toxic. No, that is not a Britney Spears joke, but it should be. This bad blood between the two started when Christina stated that she felt her colleague Britney was distant and in need of guidance during rehearsals for their 2003 MTV Video Music Awards performance. After their performance with Madonna, Christina turned very petty as Britney and Madonna got the most publicity for the performance and Christina felt very overshadowed by the other two singers. The publicity came from their iconic kiss, let's not forget. Britney was shocked about the comments made about her behind her back and responded to this by claiming that her actions of distancing herself from Aguilera was due to her always being constantly rude and fake towards her. Moving on to more recent times though, in 2021 when the Free Britney media coverage blew up and everyone was fighting for Britney's freedom, Christina did put the feud behind her and did show her support for Britney. So it might just be over with now. Moving on towards our number four spot, it is taken by Tony Luca. Tony is an American singer, record producer, and actor, though the celebrity is probably best known for his career on the Mickey Mouse Club. <laughs> I feel like that's an insult almost. The two of them were former friends as they both worked on the Mickey Mouse Club and because of this, Tony assumed when he auditioned for The Voice that he would have a friendly ally, but this was not the case. When Tony was on the show, Christina constantly criticized the singer and called him one dimensional. Christina's criticism towards Tony as a singer was met with him hoping it was to make him a better singer and that it was just all for the best. That being said, her constant known hatred towards him grew with Tony seemingly not knowing Knowing where this bad blood towards him came from, and he started questioning what had happened between the two of them. Tony would go on to be one of the finalists of the show though. Initially, he was hopeful to be on her team so that they could work together, but now knowing very well that if he chose Christina, he probably wouldn't have gotten that far in the competition because she didn't like him. Quickly moving on to number three, we have the notorious Mariah Carey. Christina and Mariah's feud started way back in 2006 when Christina said some petty things about Mariah and exposed her during a GQ interview. Christina talked about Carrie's mental breakdown at a party and made a comment suggesting that Mariah was probably very medicated to have such a breakdown. After Christina slammed Mariah like this, she responded during an interview with Access Hollywood, accusing Christina of having questionable behavior at that party, but mentioned that she fully forgave Christina. Though this was not the end of the feud, of course, because in 2015, Christina absolutely dragged Mariah Carey again and allegedly made a comment about Christina winning a Grammy and not wanting to hang out with a bunch of oldies, meaning her. Mariah never officially responded to this roast and went on with her life. Though the two never formally recovered from their ongoing back and forth feud, it brings to question if Christina didn't make an outright rude statement to begin with, they probably wouldn't even have that messy situation since 2006. Moving on to one of the top spots, at number two, we have the rapper Eminem. Eminem is no stranger when it comes to feuding with other celebrities, and Christina Aguilera was not an exception. This all started when Christina mentioned Eminem in an MTV interview and exposed him for allegedly marrying his girlfriend without telling the public, and then made other comments about his relationship. Eminem was not pleased with this, and in his most well known song, The Real Slim Shady, the artist fueled their feud by dedicating the lyrics. Little beep put me on blast on MTV. He also would mention her in another one of his songs titled Off the Wall, where he roasted Christina again. Christina retaliated by coming out with a parody song with lyrics that directly called Eminem out, such as Will a real slim shady please shut up? And Little Twit blast me on his new CD. Why? Because I turned him down for a date. Yikes. These back and forth lyrics between the two artists seem so petty and you'd think as time passes that they would get over this stupid feud, but you would be wrong because in 2018, Eminem would go on to mention her negatively in his song titled Kickoff again. 
But Christina seemed to be over it and she brushed it off this time and she did not retaliate after that. Thank God. Last but certainly not least, taking the number one spot is Kelly Osborne. There was no time for mutual respect with Kelly as she started the drama by dragging Christina's Christmas album titled My Kind of Christmas. Osborne roasted the album on her reality television show that she shared with her family by mocking the singer's voice and making outright comments about Christina being the most disgusting human in the entire world. I don't know about you, but that seems a little bit harsh to me. I can think of a lot more disgusting people than her. Though Angelina confronted Kelly in private apparently to discuss their feud, Kelly had no interest in talking to the singer apparently. Things seemed to settle down until it turned extremely sour when Christina would later go on to buy the Osbournes family house. Kelly was furious about this and continued to make hateful comments about Christina and even made comments about her weight gain. Later on in 2012, Kelly would go on to say that the fiery feud has ended, but nothing was ever confirmed by both parties. so. We're not sure. All right, guys, that's our list for today. Before I head out, I'm gonna do some comment shout outs. Luna the Storyteller says, my family and I know Adam Sandler personally. We used to live right by his parents in Manchester, where he's from. He's literally the nicest guy ever. That's so cool. He actually came to my hometown, Windsor, Ontario, to do a comedic show, and he went to eat at a restaurant that my friend was working at, so she met him, took pictures. She said he was so nice. So that's cool. Movie Man 909 says, that's a shame. I like Jennifer Lawrence. I'll buy just any movie with her in it. I have a ton of her movies in my collection and she hasn't done a movie since X-Men Dark Phoenix. I'm with you. I really like Jennifer Lawrence. I think she's funny. I like her acting. I hope she makes a return after she has her little baby. Cause I like her. Rainy P says, love your shirt doll. I have one from a concert in the 70s. We're twinners. Hugs and love Joss. Hugs and loves right back. I think I was wearing a band tee. Um, yeah, I definitely did not see them in concert though. <laughs> Just wearing the shirt. All right guys, I'm out of here. Subscribe so you don't miss our next video. I was your host Joss, I'll see you next time. Bye.